Hello, this is Operations in Algebra, translating sentences into equations, example 2. And there's parts A, B, C, and D. And we have to translate this sentence into algebra. It says the sum of 12 and 5 times a number is equal to 30. So the way to do these is to, first of all, don't be discouraged. Um, I know at first you read this and you can't understand what the heck they're asking, but little by little you can get it. And you really don't get it until you finally write down the answer and you compare what you write to what's up here and see if it makes sense. I urge you to go little by little. It says sum. Okay, we're going to be adding something. Um, now the two things we're going to be adding it says the sum of 12 and 5 times a number well 5 times a number uh, 5 times a number is 5x okay that's 5 times a number so the two things we're going to be adding are 12 and 5 times a number is equal to 30. See, so little by little. Here we have the sum of 12 and 5 times a number is equal to 30. And you really don't know that you get it until you look at what you wrote and compare it to what the question is. Okay, we have 20 subtracted from. 20 subtracted from is going to be minus 20. 20 subtracted from the product of 2 and a number. Now, once again, the product of 2 and a number. See, that's the product of 2 and a number. So 20 subtracted from this. 20 subtracted from 2 and a number is 14. And once again, you got to take it apart, just like I did. Write what you know. If it says subtracted, put the minus sign down. 20 subtracted from, that's 20 subtracted from. The product of 2 and a number is 14. And that makes sense. The quotient of 9 and a number added to 30 is 33. Well, um, uh, I, again, you have to look at what you have here. Uh, start any place. You can start at the back. We're going to have something is 33. The quotient of 9 and a number. Quotient of 9 and a number. Quotient is the answer to a division problem. Here's the quotient of 9 and a number quotient of 9 and a number. And um, in algebra we would usually write this as 9 over x. 9, that's the quotient of 9 and a number. So the quotient of 9 and a number added to 30 quotient of 9 and a number added to 30 is 33. And now we have the difference. So I'm stopping right there because it says difference. Okay, the difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So whatever it is, and I'm not writing, reading anymore, I just saw the difference and I wrote down this. Now I know that we're going to have to be subtracting two numbers. So the difference of 15 and 3 times a number. Okay, the difference of 15 and 3 times a number is that number. So is that number, which is the x, divided by 3. Okay, that was complicated. Okay. But uh, again, treat it as a puzzle. This first part wasn't too bad. The difference of 15 and 3 times the number. OK. 
okay, is that number, okay, divided by 3. 